Hey, what's up, everybody? My name's Joe K. I got some big news tonight. There's a lot of craziness happening right now. We're just going to kick things off right away. Got to miss Obsessed Crew, ripping off rappers left and right. Been doing it since October of this year, maybe even sooner for all we know. But that's what we're going to talk about today. As you can see here, based on my screen, uh, there was a post that kind of sparked this whole thing for me tonight by sleep lyrical who was talking about the whole situation he posted a bunch of screenshots so we're going to go through those screenshots we're going to talk about each one here as we go uh, and i do have some additional information as well for those of you that don't know and i don't know if it's officially been announced or not yet uh maybe i'm just late to the party uh, which very well may be the case but he is no longer a part of strange uh, this was confirmed by uh, Travis. Uh, who's one of the, the owners of Strange Music. Uh, this is absolutely crazy to me. So if you have a feature out right now for Gautamus, make sure, make sure you don't give him any more money. He's been scamming people and that's part of the whole gig. So we're going to go through this. Uh, I'm going to kind of break down exactly what's going on here, uh, starting with these, with these uh, uh, screenshots here. So... Um, yeah, Nick Nicholas paid or Nicholas Pope, man, you you you, you did miss something, man. Got to miss of Cess Crew ripping people off, uh, taking rappers' money, not delivering verses. Um, there was apparently a whole thing with a bunch of people and some artwork that went down, uh, where he was claiming that there was some artwork he was selling that was his, but it wasn't really his; it was somebody else's. That was a whole scandal earlier on in the year. Um, and, and more recently sleep lyrical, who's an underground rapper, uh, go check him out. He makes great music and he just dropped a boatload of money, uh, on, on this feature, you know, and had paying, been paying installments over, over the, you know, last few months, paid this off months ago and overpaid, you know, even paid for the guy's studio time. Cause that was one of his excuses. And now here we are today. Still nothing being delivered. I tried messaging uh, Gautamus on Instagram. And basically, he just laughed in my face. I, I told him straight up. I'm like, dude, I'm going to be doing a vlog about this. So like, you can either let me know what's going on. Tell me your side of the story. And try to take care of this stuff on the side. Because that's that's what I like to do. And in most cases, when this kind of stuff happens. And and this is years in the past, right? So maybe it's a new age. It's freaking 2020. So anything can happen. But in the past, people used to reach out to me all the time, you know, back when I posted those Joker videos and things like that. And people would message me like, hey, man, somebody that I know got ripped off. You know, this rapper or so-and-so isn't delivering a verse. Nine times out of 10, it's a misunderstanding or, you know, maybe they deprioritized it. And I reach out and now they kind of see. Now they're like, oh, crap, like somebody's reaching out. Not that I'm this like, you know, big authority in the underground. I'm not claiming to be that at all. But nine times out of 10, when they start getting messages from people that aren't the person that paid for the feature, they know this is going to start to blow up. And usually they take that serious. I messaged him on Instagram. He literally sent me a reply back after I told him like, hey, man, I'm I, I'm planning on doing a vlog here. Like, I, I want to know your side of the story. I'm hoping you guys can get this stuff worked out. I just got a reply back of LOL. So here I am today. We're kicking off the vlog. F it. We're going in. Let's 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 talk about these. Let's talk about these uh screenshots though that Sleep posted because I, I think that is a very interesting part of this. And also for those of you that are just joining right now, uh he is no longer part of strange music. At least that's what I'm being told. Uh I I, I can provide a screenshot here in a moment of that comment from Travis himself supposedly all speculatory at this point I can't confirm but that's what I'm being told so let's dive into the stuff from sleep right now and and see what's what's going on here so uh as you can see we have some screenshots here let me see if I can zoom in a little bit and make this easier on on the eyes here so this is the Instagram account of Godamus uh also goes by uh Distro and this is how it all started, right? He's like, you know, hey, um, you know, I, I got the $600 for you. Let me know. No problem. Um, you know, much appreciated. Um, 
can I can I lock down the price in next Thursday with a hundred dollars down? That's when I get paid. He says, yeah. Um, you know, are you able to do anything today with a hundred dollars down? Uh, you know, if you guys split, so like, I can do fifty. Blah blah blah. This is just kind of the 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 start of this whole this whole nonsense here. So it's it's going through here. We have Cash App, you know, which if people want to do business through Cash App, fine. That's perfectly their prerogative. Um, but I always say, like, if somebody's serious about selling verses, they got to have a better way. They got to have a better way than Cash App or friends and family through PayPal. So as you guys can see here, this is just more, you know, them kind of talking through stuff. Um, obviously, COVID hit this year. This is all from... Uh, uh, earlier in the year. So I, I believe this is around uh, uh, May or June. Uh, this goes all the way through, you know, see the, see the dates here, June 24th. Um, let's, let's continue to go through here. He's talking about going to Florida and stuff. He's telling them about sending the other 450. Um, he's hitting them up. Like when you think you're going to have the money, like this has got him is saying this, obviously he's, He's hitting up sleep like, buddy, I'm looking for my 450, man. Hit me with the 450. You know, like it's no big deal. Um, he's just checking in, blah, blah, blah. Goes through this. Um, says he's hitting the road. Um, I know you're working on it, but didn't know if you had maybe $100 you could send early. Like this man is, this man is hungry. This man is thirsty for money right now. Like he's doing everything he can to get some money. And and you can see this through the screenshots. That's what's wild about this crap. Like you can see the thirst. Like something's not right here. This right here tells me something ain't right. And I get it. These guys are getting hit up all the time. Like they're being told, you know, often from these rappers that hit them up for stuff that, you know, hey, uh, I'll get you tomorrow. I'll get you next pay period. Like I totally understand that. I get where I get where these rappers are coming from. But you can tell that this is the start of something absolutely crazy. Like you know something just ain't right here if if you're paying any attention to this. Let's go back to the screenshots here. So you know, basically he's going through here. He's like, you know, hey, did you send the PayPal yet? Um, his PayPal was negative. That should be an indicator right there. Your PayPal is not negative unless you're getting chargebacks. If you're getting chargebacks, that's going to tell you right there that something something's not right. Um, because that means that other people are probably asking for refunds and things like that. And that's hitting the account negative. As we continue to go through here, you can see the proof. Uh, Sleep Lyrical pays the, you know, he paid the $130. Um, you know, he's, he's paying this installments, which is very smart. I cannot recommend that enough. If you're going to pay these rappers for stuff, you need to be paying in installments because a lot of the times these guys will take your money and you won't hear from them for freaking months or, or even years. Um, going through this again, you know, looking, looking further into this, you know, they're having some back and forth here. They're just chatting, um, talking about touring, things like that. Uh, so, so if you guys want to go ahead and read this, by all means, you guys can take some time. You can go through, you can read these screenshots uh, after this video is posted and you can get more, more details here. Um, I'm going to go through to where, where it gets real good. Now he's asking for more money. This is August now. Remember I said earlier, we were talking about May. Uh, we were talking about like, or like June, June, July. Now we're in August. It's the end of August. Dude's trying to hit him up for 50 bucks, man. Like, like, can you shoot me 50 bucks? And and he does it. He does it. You know, because you can you can clearly tell here that there was a lot of respect between these two. This was not something that was done out of spite. You could tell that he was giving him time to to get this feature done, and, and it just wasn't happening. So as we're continuing to go through here, um, you know, he's he's talking about you know, Hey, I'm sorry. Like here comes the excuses. Here comes the excuses. And I, I get it. You know, life happens. Life is going to happen for these rappers a hundred percent. But when you're doing a, when you're running a business, especially like you got to be serious about that business and you're a hundred percent on a hundred percent of the time, if you're going to run a successful business. And if you're trying to make it as a rapper and your job 
is to deliver features to other rappers, which is what you agree to when you sign up for this kind of crap. This kind of stuff that we're seeing here in the screenshots is unacceptable. This is absolutely unacceptable to me. So he's 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 already working in the excuses. Um, you know, sleep is just asking. He's like, he's like, look, man, like I I'm just I I'm just checking in like he can you can tell he's trying to be careful with how he's wording things making sure he's not crossing the line or anything and right now things are pretty cordial uh, at this point so you know uh, again continuing excuses now we're you know we're, we're talking about flights being canceled um, he's talking about the hurricanes and you know things like that so that that right there should give you an idea of the time the timeline here um, continuing to you know continuing to kind of look at this they're they're having some back and forth and he's he's really still still cordial he's still very cordial at this point and i gotta give it to him like sleep kept it 100 percent professional throughout this whole thing even though we have a, a a span of a few months here where no payment was actually made so he's talking about strange charging him studio time right Strange apparently charges him $125 for studio time. I'm assuming that's for an hour of studio time, but I, I can't say I can't say for sure. But based on what we're seeing here in these screenshots, I mean that that's kind of irrelevant at this point. But you can see he's starting to get there because he's talking about his Cash App, um, his PayPal being negative. Like, send my Cash App, you know. He's having him send money to his girl's Cash App. So clearly his PayPal account ain't right. <laughs> like his PayPal ain't right, man. If you're running a business, right? And you're, it, this is just word to all you underground rappers that are out there. If you're dealing with another underground rapper and you're paying for a feature and, and you're paying an installment, which is 100% the smart way to do business for both parties. If anywhere in that process, they're like, oh, you know, my, my, PayPal went down, my cash app went down, you know, like my, my checking account went out, whatever the heck their excuse is, that should be a red flag. Let's, let's continue to, to go through these though. So again, sending it to his girl right here. Uh, he tells me, Hey, he sent them over. They're talking about like the, the crazy prices for studio time at strange, you know, whatever the, these are the receipts, you know, showing everything. absolutely wild like there there's a lot of comments on this uh on this post too there's there's a lot of there's a lot of comments so uh what what i'm gonna do here because i i actually got some uh additional information here that i'm gonna share let me go ahead and get that pulled up for you guys so that you can all you can all see this right here there was a group formed there was a group form of all the people that are getting scammed by Gotamus. Yeah. Yeah. I know. I know. Freaking crazy, right? Freaking crazy. Clearly things are bad if you have a group for everybody that's been scammed. As you can see here, and, and again, I, I don't know if this is legit, but it certainly looks legit to me. We got Travis in the in in the screenshot here for the group messages that are going on, saying Gotamus has been released from Strange Music. He's out. Gotamus is out. Out of Strange. Mo moment of silent. Moment of silence for Gotamus. No, I'm just kidding. He doesn't deserve it. But this crap is nuts. This crap is nuts. I couldn't, I couldn't believe this. And, and look, I don't know if anybody else heard about this or not. And maybe I'm just late to the party because, you know, I follow Strange a lot. I, I love Strange music. I, I love Tech 9 I think he's a great rapper. I think they're a great company. I think what they've done in the underground is absolutely insane. But when I, when I look at, you know, when I look at this and, and I see that it hasn't been announced yet, I, I wonder if this had anything to do with all the scamming that was going on, it had it had to because that reflects very poorly on Strange. If this kind of crap is is going down, it's it's absolutely a bad look. 
So if any of you guys are thinking of working with, with Gatamus, and, and quite honestly, like, and, and I hate to say, and I hate to say, but if you're, you're planning on working with Seth's crew, you, you need to be very careful right now. You need to be very careful. Um, I, I just, I, I, I'm floored. I'm floored. I, I seriously, I cannot believe this crap right now. I, I can't, I can't believe it. Like it's, it's absolutely insane to me. Um, I, and, and this has been going on for months. You guys, you guys kill me with this every single time. You cannot hold on to this stuff for months. You, when you agree to pay somebody for a collaboration or for artwork or for anything, anything, dude, if I went on the freaking grocery app right now and I ordered some groceries and they were supposed to come tomorrow and I paid $15 for groceries and they weren't delivered on my doorstep tomorrow, I'm going to be freaking calling over that $15. You guys are handing over four or 500 bucks and letting it freaking dangle in the breeze for four, five, six, a year. Like, this is going on forever. Like that, that's gotta be step one. That's gotta be step one. Get this crap out early, hit them up. Don't make it public. Don't make a scene. Try to work it out behind the scenes. I hate when this kind of crap happens because it's a horrible look for everybody in the underground, everybody. So you got to make sure that if that doesn't work, get this crap out to the underground ASAP. Everybody should be sharing this video right now. Help your peers. Let them know what's going on. Because I don't want to see other people getting ripped off. This is the same type of crap that has happened with other rappers. And it, it's sickening to me. It's a Ponzi scheme. Like, dude, dude even said in the screenshots. Like, in the screenshots, dude was talking about, like, oh, you know, like, that money, that money's basically already gone. Like that's that's what he said. Let me let me get the let me get the the screenshot pulled up here so that you can see what I'm talking about. Because that's that's the wild that's the wild part to me here. Yeah, so so at the end of the day, Sleep Lyric will reach out. I, I'm pretty sure this is very recently, uh now, probably even tonight at this point. Um he reached out and he he was told this essentially this was the message he got he's like yo just send the 775 back dude paid 775 dollars 775 bucks man and he still ain't get the feature this is nuts he's like i don't have it all at once to send back which is a lie i know you got that stimmy in that bank account send him the stimmy stimulate sleep lyrical right now stimulate that man <laughs> so dude dude dude's like you know hey um i can send payments here and there or you know a few more days and i can get it knocked out dude's been telling him for five months that he can get it knocked out what does he mean he'll get it knocked out clearly he won't get it knocked out because he ain't knocking out jack right now uh and and, and here here's the kicker you see that last part here? You see that very last part of the screenshot where it says that money already come and gone, my man, and Strange doesn't have me touring right now? Nut up and tell the truth. Nut up and tell the truth, man. You ain't even part of Strange right now. That's why you're not touring. Newsflash, buddy. <laughs> you ain't part of the squad no more. At least so I'm told. So I'm told. So that that's the Ponzi scheme. Like when when you spend money that you don't have like he, here's here's the thing. Here's the thing. The reason it was up to $775 is because Sleep said, "Hey man, you need money for studio time. We got we got coronavirus out there right now. We got all this crap going on in the world right now. I appreciate your art. I want you on my project." and you need 125 extra bucks to get to the studio, you know what? I already paid you 450 bucks for, for the feature or whatever. I got you for studio time, man. I got you for studio time. Here's an extra 125 bucks out of the goodness of that man's heart. And then he comes and he pulls this crap. Are you freaking kidding me? 
like are are you kidding me are are you stupid or are you dumb in the words of a great philosopher <laughs> like come on man come on this 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 crap is is nuts and 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 I see people you know going crazy in the chat right now like asking questions and and yeah from what I'm hearing right now he is no longer part of strange Gotamis is no longer part of strange music um I don't have much more to say guys other than be careful out there it's like the freaking wild wild west out there and you guys got to be more careful with this crap I don't want to see this kind of stuff happening anymore Please, please, please get contracts for everything that you do. I'm kicking off the vlog. I'm going to be having guests on. I just had this brilliant idea. All you mother effers are going to be signing contracts. Every single one of you. Every single one of you guys are going to be selling, getting signing contracts saying, oh, I want Joe K to do a reaction to my song. All right. I'm more than happy to do a reaction to your song. Guess what? You're signing a mother effing contract and you're giving me permission to put your song on the vlog so I can do a reaction. You don't like it, then you're not getting on the vlog. You know why? Because that's how you run a business. And when you guys start taking your stuff more serious, like you're running an actual business, that's what's going to change the game for you. This kind of crap, this kind of crap is just sad to me. Like, and, and it's not Sleep's fault. I'm not saying I'm, I'm, I'm sad and, and upset at, at Sleep. I think he did 99% of the stuff right in this situation. If I could go back in time, I would say one, and I, I didn't I didn't check the receipts to see if he sent it friends and family, but I saw other people that sent me screenshots. They were sending it friends and family. Don't do that crap. Never pay for a product with friends and family. That's freaking stupid. I don't care what the artist says. I don't care if they say, oh, well, I'm going to have to charge you, you know, the the 3% that PayPal is going to charge me so I can cover the cost of that. Go ahead. You want to, you're already paying the dude 500 bucks. What's another 3% of that freaking, I, I don't even know, 20, 20 bucks or something, or I, five bucks. I, I, I don't even know. Regard, <laughs> regardless, regardless, my point is this, do business right. Treat what you're doing like a business. You're the owner of your business. You run this boat. Do what you want to do. If people don't like it, tell them to kick rocks. Put dates on your contracts. If you're paying for something, there needs to be a date of delivery. That's usually problem number one in these things. If there's no date of delivery. A lot of times what these guys will do is they'll sell a feature to you. They'll have it sitting out there for three, four months, five months. Whatever the time period is that they don't have to worry about chargebacks from PayPal, that's how long they'll string you along for. Every single time, without fail, don't let them do that crap to you. Be better than that. It is 2021. We are starting a new effing wave in the underground this year. And I swear to God, if I see anybody, anybody after this moment, after this date right now, January 12th, 1043 p.m. If I hear from any of you guys or you send me any screenshots of I got ripped off from Godimus. After this date, you're on your own because there ain't no freaking saving you. Thank you guys for watching. My name's Joe K. It's Joe K Music. Please subscribe to my channel. Like this video, share this video, and stop this crap from happening in 2021.